good news, I finally got my hands on the 2010 Spooky Town pamphlet. For those of you not familiar with what Spooky Town is, um, imagine those really old Christmas villages where you'd have these little pieces and you'd set it up around the holidays to represent a sort of tranquil, idyllic Christmas scene. Well, Lemix, which I probably mispronounced their name, took that same idea and applied it to Halloween. Because personally, I've always thought Halloween is the much more magical time of the year. When a person puts on a mask and pretends to be anybody. Or, in other cases, they are finally allowed to take their masks off and be who they really are. So, um, every year, I think it's actually started about a decade ago, Lemix releases a few more pieces, and generally I do pick up a few. Now, Michaels is the biggest distributor of these in the U.S., as far as I'm aware. They even have store exclusives. Um... The big good thing, too, is as it gets closer to Halloween, they generally discount them week after week, so it's generally usually like 33% off at most, so I only picked up one figure so far, the Bone Bench, which I'll show you later, but let's have a quick look at the pamphlet itself just so we know what's coming out. Oh, and by the way, my local Michaels, Michaels is sort of a craft store for those who are not aware of what it is, only had the things like half set up and they didn't actually have the lights or anything going, so I have some idea of what some of this stuff looks like and I will comment on it. But yeah, um, first up is the Wheel of Horror, which is actually right on the cover. It's a much nicer image. I saw it, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it definitely would be a nice piece to complement the Octo Ride or whatever they had last year, which I wish I could pick up, but it was a um, Michael's exclusive that never hit my store and I didn't feel like driving over. I think it was like two or three towns to get one or buying it online, but it's a pretty cool looking piece. Next up we have the Dreaded Zeppelin, which doesn't look like a moving piece. No, it do actually does revolve around base. It doesn't look too spectacular, but you can see they have all these classic monsters and the little hearse that's being, that hearse, little coffin that's being held up by the Zeppelin. The Little Monsters Schoolhouse. Eh, looks so-so. Now this one I really like, the Transylvania Zoo. It's got a really big werewolf on the top here. Then we have a creature from the Black Lagoonish thing, kind of Gilman, Frankenstein, and Dracula. You can see a cyclops in this cage and a mummy in this cage. Looks really detailed. I wish I had seen it in motion, but didn't. By the way, this pamphlet's a little bit smaller than most years. I think most years it's a lot bigger, but with the economy the way it is, probably didn't release as much. I don't buy so many of the bigger pieces either. I mostly pick up the small ones just due to space, but... Uh, Vicky's Cattery. I guess it's supposed to have spooky cats. Uh, looks like a light-up piece, but... Nah. The Haunted Cabin. <laughs> Did I ever show you guys the Haunted Outhouse? That one's pretty epic. This one looks pretty funny, too. You have to love their humor. Then we have the Grizzly's Greenhouse, which has a lot of the, um... What was that? Shoot. I'm totally drawing a blank, but it was something plant shop or, you know... It was actually readapted again into another musical, and I believe it had, uh, shoot, I think Rick Moranis played the title character, then it had Bill Murray, so, pretty cool movie, but it's also a really cool looking concept. The Peter's Pumpkin Patch, which is a cutesier one, it's probably more of a kiddie title. The Brickle Residence. Again, this is one of the cutesier ones. They do a mix. Scary Stories. I like this one. This one's actually pretty cute looking. Might not pick it up. I love the tree effect there. The Haunted Grove. This is the one that they actually released last year. So far, everything else has been new releases. I wanted to pick this one up last year, but it was sold out by the time it got to the really good markdowns, like the 50% plus. I'll probably pick it up this year if I do find it cheap. The Scary Acres Cemetery, so-so. The Terror Bridge, set of two, which is probably the bridge in the piece there. The Grim Reaper Ride, I picked up a Satan Cycle last year, which is pretty cool. The Ticket Booth, eh. 
Then we have building a scarecrow. The, what is that, leap, leap, leaf pile frolic. You know, because um, back, I don't know if people still do it, but kids used to rake up leaves in the yard and then they'd jump into the piles of leaves. I don't know, I never really got into that. The creepy faceless ghoul, which I almost picked up, but all of them were a little bit damaged. The evil clown juggler. This one's a really, really cool one. And I probably will end up buying this one. This one retails for, I think it's about five. <coughs> the Wicked Wanda, just a general witch. Balloon seller, this one's really cute. It's got a skeleton guy selling a balloon to a mummy. Is it a guy in a ghost costume? I saw it in stores, can't remember. Trail of Terror. Grave Robber set of the tombstone and the grave robber. Uh, batting practice that doesn't even really belong in there. Silly surprise. Scarecrow Lane, boring. Trick or treating trio, again, boring. Pumpkin patch. Yeah, those are just kitty ones down there. Now I saw this one set of, I guess you're calling corpse torches, and they look really awesome. I wish I had seen them lit up. The Lighted Moon, I actually have that piece, it's an older one. By the way, that thing I was talking about earlier, Little Shop of Horrors. That was the uh, name of the movie, I believe. Now we have a Pumpkins with Cats, Boring Autumn Chores, which is burning leaves in a bonfire, which actually is illegal in a lot of places. And then we have the generic stands and stuff. Right here at the bottom, the tombstones, which come out every year. A sort of dead tree here, autumn tree, this other tree, and the two new pieces of the skeleton with a vulture, looks like gravesite, and the bone bench, which we will look at right now. Uh, the one thing you should know about the Spooky Town is when you're selecting these, the paint quality is often a little bit spotty, and then, you know, the quality assurance is basically non-existent, so you really have to fish around them, otherwise you'll have ones that aren't completely painted over, but... I mean, a lot of the cheapness allows them to get you these at decent prices. I think this one was three bucks, and then they go on sale nonstop, so it's even cheaper than that. And usually they have a good amount of stock, so I just wait and I buy them up when it's a little bit cheaper. Although it's plenty cheap as it is, but you know me. But here's a look at the packaging. A lot of these smaller ones come in this, and let's just pop this open. One second. And here's the bone bench out of pack. Now this kind of looks like a throne, which is why I picked it up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use to place in it, but the interesting thing is, as far as Spooky Town goes, there's really nothing you can use in conjunction with their benches or anything because they really don't produce sitting figures. So I mean, they put out cool pieces like this, but nothing that actually sit in them, for the most part. They might have a few pieces out there that might be interchangeable, so it could work, but. I mean, look at this detail. This is crazy. We have this whole long spinal column here for the uh, angles for the love seat here or whatever. I mean, it's called like a bench, but I mean, it's like enough room for one and a half people or two people if they're sitting really cramped. So, I mean, it's basically more of a bone or skeletal love seat. We have this really cool looking thing. I mean, the whole thing reminds me of like some sacrificial altar or something, so... It's another cool thing you might be able to use it for, but and I'm really impressed by this piece. You know, I had to pick it up. I mean, these things always go on sale. It's always a little bit cheaper, but in this case, I probably wouldn't save more than 50 cents or a buck. I mean, the really big savings come in on the larger sets. These, I mean, these smaller single card things are like between 250 and I think it's like seven bucks, but then they also have 70, 80 dollar. I think one was a hundred and twenty dollar display, the one pirate ship one. But I mean, it depends on like what you get. I mean, the lighting stuff with sound and everything is gonna run. I think it's like forty or fifty at the least. But then once um, the discounts start rolling in, and get up for like twenty bucks, which is a lot more cool. And then like you just wait a little while, and everything's just a really cool price. They also have a lot of really decent like displays for 13 or 20, which 
across pretty cool. I picked up last year's theme was like this whole Egyptian thing. They had like a ton of stuff. Another year they had like a lot of pirates. This year it's just like a mix, but you know, just check it out. It's worth looking into if you're got Michaels or anything near you. Till next time.